just real quick. It just seemed like you could be having a bad day, a bad week, a bad month. <laughs> we can always find something to complain about. Additionally, we can always find something to be grateful for and thank God for. But I just love how God, he speaks to each one of us in different ways, you know. It can be through a song on the radio. It can be through someone complimenting you. It can be through just an email or something where he'll grab your attention and, and be like, look, daughter, look, son, it's okay. I got you. <laughs> You're going to be okay. That's it, right? Yesterday, I was just exhausted with my job, with life, and then I got home, you know, late. I had to work late, got home, and I got a nice surprise in my email. It's like, God does not forget our prayers when, you know, when we pray, when we request of him. And he gives us these, these nudges along the way that tells you, you, you on the right track, you okay. But I think that, you know, the enemy works on our mind and plays on our mind, you know. And, you know, my my journey and my story is going to be different from yours. Y'all probably get tired of hearing about me and um, the single journey, but it's real. It's real. It's the real part of my life. And sometimes, you know, when you are a single, um, alone you don't you may be dating people here and there but you don't have your person your partner your husband your wife you live alone like I live alone and sometimes it can it can feel lonely and, and isolating you know and you get into this routine of life because you got to go to work because if you don't work you don't eat you got to pay your bills you know what I'm saying some kind of way or you're gonna have to start doing something strange for a little change <laughs> I'm kidding but I'm not because because the the rents and the mortgages and the car notes and the insurance and the health problems and going to the doctor all these it costs to live right it costs to live so whether we're an entrepreneur or we have a nine to five we got to get up and get it right but that gets tiring and that gets old especially when you feel like you're doing it by yourself but i just wanted to say that keep doing you keep being you um the person who god created you and your core the good things about you because somebody's always watching right and god is always watching to see how we're going to respond to whatever we're going through in life right are we going to respond in faith you know because sometimes it's like the enemy will come just to, to he comes to kill steal and destroy so he'll still a positive word you could just get get finished praying in the car and then you get in work get inside the office and, and somebody piss you off and it's like oh didn't i just finish praying but be encouraged stay encouraged i was just grabbing some lunch and this man um he's indian and he has a gas station here and when i first moved here i was staying a little bit closer to his store but but, but now i have a, a place that's a not not right close to his store and so I was going in there getting chicken and gas <laughs> and the chicken is good. And he always compliment me, you know, tell me I'm a nice person. I'm pretty and all this stuff. Right. So I just met his wife and his wife said, oh, my husband said you pretty. And that's just made my day because I was just having one of those days. I'm glad it's Friday, but I'm just like, I'm so over all the work that I need to do for my job and feeling stressed out about my bills. I'm just keeping it real today. But when I saw him and his family, it just told me, okay, Rachel, God is saying, somebody always watching you. Keep being you. Keep being being uh, nice. Keep being congenial, you know. Keep being genuine. Don't walk around here and letting people see you complain and be bitter and be angry, you know, because I know I be snapping off on, on my coworkers sometimes, especially my one coworker who's actually my friend now. Sorry, friend. I be popping off. And I need to stop doing that. I need Jesus. Somebody pray for me. But that's it, y'all. I love y'all. Be blessed. And just know whatever you're going through, God, he's got us. He's got you. He's got me. 
and we just got to keep taking it one day at a time but then we also have to do our part so if that means it's time to look for a new job let's do what we need to do let's not procrastinate if that means you want to work from home and be remote go out there and get it if that means you want to be an entrepreneur and self-employed get it right and sometimes you might be like well i don't know how to do it and you know it's not that i don't know how to do it but i'm in i'm in that position right now where i just feel like i'm in isolation you know because we need to connect with others who are doing similar things and so um right now you know being me being in a new city I got to get out here and really be intentional with my networking so that I don't lose sight of my vision. Like I told my coworkers when I first moved here, I'm in the second half of my life. They was like, well, girl, how old are you? <laughs> I'm just saying, I'm not getting any younger. And I don't want to be, you know, we already in a new year and I don't want to be this year, next year, still complaining about the same things or what I want to do. At some point, we just got to do it. And even if it doesn't turn out the way we don't want it to you know if nobody supports us if nobody comes to our events and things like that that's negative but that's real because i've been on that side of that thing but it's the intention behind it you have to start somewhere you have to do it to see what the turnout's gonna be because you have to create a buzz for whatever it is it could be your book that's coming out i keep talking about this other book i'm gonna write it could be some events, you know, and, and, and I've heard people say when I was back home, you know, if it's an event that's not happening in your community, that means you're supposed to be the one to put it together. So me saying I feel isolated and I need a group, I need a network. Guess what, Rachel, Dr. Ray, that means you need to put the event together and invite people who want to network, who are also looking for a group. There's a lot of transplants here from different cities. And, of course, I love all my people that I know who are from here, who still live here. And so, shout out to y'all. Hopefully, I will be seeing y'all soon. And when I start trying to do, start doing these events, not trying, I hope to see y'all there so we can stay connected. So that we can see our dreams, whatever that dream is, come to pass and support each other. All right. I'm done preaching for the day. I love y'all. Have a good one. Happy Friday.